Dear viewers welcome to my channel. Today I will talk about the sequence of the newly released The Marvel Movie. Don't pull it. Hope you like it. In 2019, Captain Marvel achieved a remarkable milestone, becoming the first female-led superhero movie to surpass $1 billion at the box office to critical acclaim. Despite the challenges faced, with a pandemic disrupting Marvel Studios' box office momentum, the journey of the past four years has been eventful. Led by talented director Nia DaCosta, The Marvels, a trio of heroes to bridge the MCU's big screen and Disney Plus properties, have successfully generated significant studio excitement. Having seen the film I appreciate its unique approach. Clocking in at under two hours, The Marvels sets itself apart with a somewhat unorthodox structure. While the movie may not come together seamlessly, it makes up for the loss with intriguing teases towards the end, enticing viewers to experience it on the big screen. Aside from a few incoherent moments, this sequel, while not without flaws, showcases the best performance of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. As someone who has consistently followed and reviewed Marvel Studios' offerings, I recognize the varying quality in their output. Still, even if expectations aren't met at times like this, Marvel's essence remains impressive. The Marvels offers an exciting and action-packed continuation of the Captain Marvel story, seamlessly integrating characters from previous MCU films and series. The film starts with an action, Kree soldier, Dar Ben, who dives into an interesting plot involving the search for a mythical Bengal and keeps the audience hooked from the start. The dynamic between the three strong protagonists, Carol Danvers, Monica Rambeau and Kamala Khan adds a new and entertaining dimension to the action sequences. As shown in the trailer, their restrained powers inject a fun energy into the fight scenes, creating a unique and visually impressive experience. Iman Vellani is brilliant as Kamala Khan, bringing humor and charm to her performance that is reminiscent of the endearing qualities seen in characters like Tom Holland's Peter Parker. The focus on Kamala and her family adds a personal touch to the story, making the film feel less like a Captain Marvel sequel and more like a celebration of Ms. Marvel's character. The film manages to balance accessibility for new viewers, while providing enough depth for longtime MCU fans. Even if you haven't seen all the connected movies and shows, the exposition cleverly weaves in enough information to make sense of the storyline. However, die-hard fans may find some explanations somewhat redundant. Despite the film's strengths, it struggles with the long-standing problem of creating compelling villains in the MCU. Javi Ashton's portrayal of Dar Ben, while driving the plot forward, doesn't allow for much depth or impact. Additionally, the movie follows a series of events, which leaves some die-hard fans hoping, but without going into spoiler territory, the movie manages to keep the audience engaged in Captain Marvel's redemption arc. Overall, The Marvels offers an exciting and visually stunning addition to the MCU, combining exciting action, lovable characters and a story that keeps viewers on the edge of their seats. Despite some criticism, the Marvels provides a fun and entertaining experience for Marvel fans. The inclusion of scrolls and a cameo by Tessa Thompson, adds a familiar MCU touch. Which creates a sense of continuity. The sequence on the planet Aladna involving Prince Ian is a highlight, providing a funny moment that could be divisive, but adds variety to the film. Director Nia DaCosta, despite her success with Candyman, brings a unique perspective to the sequel. The movie may lack the same light-heartedness and fun as Captain Marvel, but it still maintains a brisk pace, keeping the audience engaged throughout its 105-minute runtime. The dynamic between the three main characters works well, offering hope for future collaborations. Although the film is not lacking in individual elements and Samuel L. Jackson may be criticized for relegating him to a comic relief subplot. It successfully delivers on the promise of entertainment. The mid credit sequence, while not distracting, excites hardcore Marvel fans and makes viewers curious about what's to come. Additionally, the movie serves as a showcase for Raman Vellani. Encourages those who have avoided Ms. Marvel to give the series a chance. Brie Larson's portrayal of Captain Marvel remains strong. Even the overall film may not be as expected. But despite its flaws, The Marvels is a worthwhile addition to the MCU, offering a glimpse of what the future might hold. With a promising team dynamic and potential for future collaborations, the film sets the stage for the next chapter of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. 
However the movie felt different to me. I think you will also like to watch the movie. Keep an eye on the hot star screen. Dear visitors, if you like the review, don't forget to give a like. A like from you boosts my motivation. Thank you, stay well everyone.